for The Last of Us Part Two, we're hoping to create a story that makes a commentary about the cycle of violence and how acts can beget other acts and show all the different aspects that could come out of it. Not necessarily good or bad, just the different consequences of one's actions. I'm gonna find, and I'm gonna kill every last one of them. I've heard a lot of people say, uh, why make a sequel to The Last of Us? I didn't even hear, hear the full pitch of the game, but just like the outline of what Neil was wanting to do with this game, I realized, oh, this is something we have to make. This, you know, this isn't even an option. There's absolutely more to do here. There's always the fear that, you know, when you made something great and you're gonna go back to it, you're gonna mess it up. You're gonna mess what made it so special. The test for us was like, can we come up with a story that can, one, stand on its own and be meaningful and have its weight, the same kind of feeling we had when we uh, came upon the story for the first one. But also now, because it's part two, it has to be additive. It has to take the first one to consideration that if you played both, then you get like a bigger narrative. The thing that Neil really cared about, that the studio really cared about, is honoring Ellie and, and Joel specifically and their journey as characters. What is the honest next steps that they would take? What are the truest moves that we could see them do? The Last of Us 2 expands on the first game, both in the relationship between Ellie and Joel, the relationships that we see Ellie having, and just the greater world that we're in, and we see more of it. It's a genre story about this infection that turns people into these crazy monster-like humanoids. The core of it is about these really intimate, intense relationships. At the start of the game, Ellie is 19. She is living in a safe, secure community. We're coming in, you know, 25 years after the outbreak. And you as Ellie live in Jackson, which is this kind of somewhat tranquil town in this really messed up reality. She has real community now. She has people who love and care for her, willing to sacrifice for her. Joel is also very settled down. He's now part of a town. He's no longer a smuggler. Actually, the town relies on this guy that is a very capable killer, and that's something these towns in this world need. Jackson and Ellie are shaken by a violent event. It really changes Ellie's day-to-day -day life, and now just living is no longer enough. Like, there's these people that have wronged her, and she wants retribution. And you, as a player, are gonna want retribution for what these people have done. And then you go off on this journey that leads you to Seattle, where now you're, like, stuck in the city that has these warring factions, and they're both fighting over the spoils of Seattle, and you're stuck there in the middle looking for this very specific group that has wronged you. And that's the concept of the story. And then it takes you on all sorts of twists and turns in Naughty Dog fashion. I know even within the studio, we've had a lot of like philosophical arguments about some of the events and what happens in the game. And I think in this one might be more divisive than the first game in a very kind of exciting way that I think it raises those interesting philosophical questions and asks the players to interpret some of the material that's there and see where they stand on those questions. Thank you.